Hey everybody, <clears throat> Brian from Witch Doctor here. Brought out my jug of RL26. Um, it's been sitting in the garage though for the past month um, with my Kestrel drop in it. So this is an update on the status of the um, how well the container protects the powder from humidity. If you recall or if you've seen the video um, before um, you're familiar with my procedure but if you're not I'll go over it again really fast um, I take this Kestrel drop which gives me a number of um, um, atmospheric variables like temperature humidity uh, station pressure etc put it in this sort of fireproof container dropped it into this jug of RL 26 powder and then closed the the top on it um, and measured to see if the humidity level inside the can um, had changed at all um, and again this is with me being in an environment here in the Pacific Northwest United States where um, we get anywhere from you know 70 to 100 percent humidity during uh, during the winter months um, into like May um, so anyway, so it's, it, basically we get high levels of humidity. This powder in this jug with the Kestrel drop has been in there for, I don't know, about four and a half months now. So it's been exposed to well over 100%, hum, uh, you know, well over several days of 100% humidity, many days at like 70, 80, 90%, um, definitely above sort of average, I guess, if you will, for this region. Um, um, and this region gets about 50% if you think of kind of across the entire year, but it's been in this jug during the winter months, so it's been exposed to the highest humidities we have here in the Pacific Northwest United States. Anyway, <clears throat> so this drop inside there gives us data that we collect from an app. So you just turn the app on and it connects with Bluetooth and the data from the app, you can see it blinking there. Uh, I'm sorry, the data from the drop goes to the app. Um, and you can look at graphs over time. So this is like a temperature graph over time. Um, we can see some variations over time of temperature, um, 59 degrees, 57 degrees, 56 degrees, 57, 56. So it's been pretty chilly, 55, up to 61, 62, 64. So there's definitely a lot of temperature swings in the data. Um, could just be colder nights, you know, getting in the garage is not heated or anything. So it's just kind of exposed to some colder air at night. Um, then we go to relative humidity. This jug has had in the past, we've been seeing around 60.7% uh, um, relative humidity inside the jug. And it, that's pretty much what we're still seeing here now. 60.7. Oh, we got a little dip there of 60.5. Um, interesting. 60.6, 60.5, 60. So anyway, the jug is kind of staying at around 60.567% relative humidity inside the jug over the past couple months. Yeah, 60.5, 60.6, 60.7. Oh, we getting 60. Yep, 60.8. A couple of data points, but it then went down to 60.7. So, yeah. Anyway, so um, <laughs> yeah, it's this jug here, HDPE plastic, um, is keeping the humidity out. Um, the humidity is pretty stable in here. Um, it's definitely not going like below 60.5. It's not going above 60.8. It's pretty much kind of staying in that air in that region, regardless of the outside uh, humidity that we have this exposed to. Um, so I'd say you're pretty safe using these kind of jugs with just the standard cap on it, um, and there's really no humidity getting in there. Uh, interestingly enough, when I did open this, this piece here, this little additional seal, was inside the powder. So it seems like um, you don't really even need this additional seal uh, to further protect it. It seems like this cap <laughs> without this additional seal um, has protected it from 
the humidity. Uh, this is all consistent, um, once again, with um, the pharmaceutical industry utilizes HDBE plastics for their medication bottles because they want to make sure that their their pills aren't getting exposed to humidity it would, it would ruin the the medication and stuff like that and so they've chosen that plastic because it's really impervious to um humidity um it definitely uh, is not impervious to temperature we see that um, which is why they use it for like milk and, and other liquids uh, because they can um keep it in the refrigerator and it will cool um, but the humidity level itself inside the container um, is consistent. So anyway, um, looks like these jugs are doing a pretty good job. I will keep the drop in there. Um, I have some other purposes for this drop, but I definitely want to see over a long period of time, you know, what happens. Um, at this point, though, with being about, I don't know, five months or so of data collected, I've seen no... Uh, no data that suggests that um, that this powder is getting exposed to humidity with just a standard cap on it. And uh, regardless of where it is, uh, outs I had it outside in 100% humidity for several weeks. I've brought it in the garage here because I just moved. Um, and I don't know of a spot outside where I can put it now, but I probably will put it back outside just to expose it to higher levels of humidity. And keep collecting data and keep reporting back. So thanks, everybody. Um, please subscribe, like, and share. And uh, check out my Patreon, too, if you want to make a financial contribution to these tests. All this equipment uh, does cost a lot, so um, any, any help you can give would be appreciated. Thanks, everyone.